Let's take a look at graphing a line in general form. Now, just as a reminder, general form is AX plus BY plus C equals zero. Now, unlike the other two forms of the equation, unlike slope intercept form and point slope form, this A value, B value, and C value don't tell us anything directly. The value of those numbers are not quite as useful as the other two forms of the equation. Now this form of the equation has other advantages, we'll get into those a little more later, but it is a little trickier to graph. We have to do some work before we get some pieces that we can actually put on a, on a graph. So we're going to graph this using x and y intercepts. Let's start with the x-intercept. We've worked with x-intercepts before, the process really isn't any different on this one. In order to find our x-intercept, we are going to set y to equal zero. Wherever it crosses the x-axis, that the y value of that point is always going to be zero. So I'm going to rewrite my equation in, and instead of my y, I'm going to put in a zero. 3x plus 2 times, and instead of y, I'm going to put that zero in, minus 18 equals zero. Use some algebra, and from that I should be able to isolate and figure out what my x-intercept is. So 2 times 0 is going to give me 0. 3x minus 18 equals 0. I'm going to add 18 to both sides. I've got 3x equals 18. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. These two 3s cancel each other out. So x equals 18 divided by 3 gives me 6. So my x-intercept is 6. I'm coming back for that. Let's do our y-intercept. It's done much the same way. In this case, we're going to set x to equal zero. Because it doesn't matter where it crosses the y-axis, the x value of that point always equals zero. I'm gonna rewrite my equation and accept anywhere where I've got an x. Instead, I'm going to put in a zero. I can write out my equation, and instead of the x, I'm going to put in a zero. So three times, instead of the x, I'm going to put in that zero. And the rest of the equation stays the same, so it's plus 2y minus 18 equals 0. All right, I'm going to rewrite that. 3 times 0 gives me 0. I'm not even going to bother writing that piece in. 2y minus 18 equals 0. I need to isolate the y, so I'm going to move the 18 to the other side. So I'm going to go plus 18 plus 18. What that leaves me with is 2y equals... 18s cancel each other out on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, I've got 18. Last step, divide both sides by 2, and I've got y equals 9. There is my y-intercept. Final step is to graph it. So we're going to graph that line. Just as a reminder, x-intercept equals 6, and the y-intercept equals 9. So this is my x-axis, that's my y-axis, my x-intercept it crosses at 6, so it crosses right there, my y-intercept crosses at 9, so it's up there. Now let's draw a line to connect the dots. There is my equation graphed. Let's do that one more time, a little quicker this time though x-intercept. We're going to set y to equal 0. Rewrite the equation, except anywhere where there's a y, I'm going to put in a 0. So x plus 3 times, and instead of y, I'm going to put in a 0. Plus 9 equals 0. Rewrite it without that 0. 3 times 0 is 0, so x plus 9 equals 0. Let's subtract 9 from both sides. It leaves me with x equals minus 9. There is my x-intercept. Let's move on to our y-intercept. In this case, we're going to set x to equal 0. I'm going to rewrite my equation. Anywhere where there's an x, I'm going to put in a 0. So I've got a 0 because that's an x all by itself. Plus 3y plus 9 equals 0. All right, let's rewrite it without that zero. 3y 
plus 9 equals 0. Subtract 9 from both sides. 3y equals minus 9. Still don't have y all by itself or isolated. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And I am left with y equals negative 3. There is my y-intercept. Let's go transfer that to the graph. I can see my numbers, so I don't have to rewrite them. x equals minus 9. Remember, this is my x-axis. That's my y-axis. x equals minus 9. Should be right there. y equals minus 3. Should be right there. Draw a line. Play a game of connect the dots. And you're done. There's a graph of my line.